The Rotax 177 boys are back. Elbows will be fully out if you've been watching the earlier heats. It's the first time we've showed all the heats and the final from this class during the season. But uh, it's been entertaining, to say the least, in the earlier heats. Mark Lambert in his on pole. We're on board here with Peter Abbott. That's Martin Ingham picked out there on the 83 card. Oh, and contact with, oh, it looks like his teammate. Peter Abbott's run into the back of them. Oh, that's Transfield and Mark Lambert. They've had it coming together in turn two. And the championship leader is off. He's out of the car. He's dragging it back on there in the background. You can see him in turn two trying to get his car back on. If he doesn't get it going, he won't score any championship points in this final. Absolute drama here at the start. We've had drama in this class all the way through. Entertainment throughout. I hope you've enjoyed it. And it just goes to show that even in the grid with just nine drivers in it, anything's possible. Now, as they go through the line now, it's press switch that leads it up the inside of David Blackhurst is our onboard cameraman, Peter Abbott. Let's have a look at uh, the positions on the screen. So it's press switch that leads from Ryan Walker. Now, don't forget, Ryan Walker was the man who was involved in that incident with uh, Transfield earlier in the piece in Heat 1. And here he is second on track at the moment he knows he's got the pace to win this so walker will be happy right now he was disappointed earlier on but he's getting closer and closer to press which in front so close in fact i think he'll go for it in turn one through the line they come walker in second currently but not for long david blackhurst was fourth he's just gone through in fifth peter abbott's now fourth martin ingham is in sixth mark lambert's recovering he's in seventh aaron knight's in eighth he was uh, involved with uh, martin ingham running into the back of him, the two teammates. And then William Dransfield, ninth place. Now that's four championship points, so long as he finishes, and he is running. He's just gone through the line there, see him in the background as his name lit up. So can he score more than four championship points? I'm not sure he's gonna come back from where he is there. He could have won the championship this weekend if it had all gone his way. It certainly hasn't all gone his way, but it is going the way of Ryan Walker now as he's got the lead from Ian Presswick. So Walker from Presswick. Roger Moore there in third place. He's probably thinking, well, what's happened to my day? It's suddenly turned into a podium finish potentially for me. Peter Abbott there in four. In fifth place, Martin Ingham, but up the inside is Mark Lambert. Lambert recovering, Ingham recovering. Both involved in incidents in turns one and two. But uh, that's the leader going through first three. And Ryan Walker here after his first heat where he was taken out between turn one and two on the last lap is probably thinking, actually, this has turned into quite a good day for me. He goes through turn two up towards Hooton Hairpin one more time. The way the carts were spread out at this point, meant there was only really one bit of action left to see and that's uh, Peter Abbott with Martin Ingham up the inside. That's Transfield who's recovering but he's still down in last place. We're back on board here with Peter Abbott. Martin Ingham makes his way through, picked out there for you and that was the last of the action in this one. The result stood pretty much as you see on the left of the screen. Ryan Walker from Presswich just coming home ahead of Roger Moore with Martin Ingham, then Peter Abbott in fifth, Mark Lambert would be sixth. And then in seventh place, it was David Blackhurst from Aaron Knight involved in that incident through turn one at the start. And then William Dransfield, championship leader, ending up losing six places on the day. Mark Lambert lost five. Uh, making the most number of places was Roger Moore. He will have been very happy with his top three finish. Championship standings look like this. Well, a 16-point lead at this stage, it should be enough for William Dransfield. It should be, but if there's one class you can't take anything for granted, it's this one.